Let's simplify this expression and write it with positive exponents only. If you'd like, you can use your definition of a negative exponent first and write this as 1 over this quantity to a power of 2. Or you can use your power of a product rule. I think I'll go ahead and use that first. In other words, this is a product, so it is negative 9 raised to the power of negative 2. And it's also the other factor, x, raised to a power of negative 2. Really, there's an understood exponent here of 1, and 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. Then we would still like to write this with positive exponents. So this is 1 over, if I move this to the denominator, it remains negative 9, but the exponent becomes positive 2. And the same thing here. I'll take this x, move it to the denominator, and the exponent becomes positive 2. It affects the exponent only. And then what do we have in this denominator? This is negative 9 times negative 9, which is positive 81x squared.